Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, October 17th, and today is my brother's birthday, and we're also celebrating my sister's birthday, which is on the 21st. I just got done getting ready for the day, and you guys, I just got a new vintage Chanel necklace. Literally the cutest. I love like dainty jewelry like this, and gold is like my aesthetic, so totally obsessed with it i thought i'd show you my outfit really quick um because i need to go downstairs and make my famous korean fries dish for the birthday celebration and also i need to get some birthday gifts situated so today's gonna be so fun we have food being delivered we're getting uh or not we're getting we have like fun activities planned and a movie night it's gonna be loads of fun outfit of the day went with something very neutral and chic wearing my favorite storette's hat i get so many compliments on this hat like literally it is my favorite accessory to just kind of pair with like a very plain outfit due to like the details on it and then i'm wearing my chanel earrings my vintage chanel necklace this white tee that I got from Threadsmith paired with these high-waisted trousers from Zara and then my little black heels from DSW. I wanted to show you guys quickly the games that I got yesterday at Walmart. So Exploding Kittens is a game that my friends and I absolutely love. So I decided to get it so my family and I can play it. And the code names is a game that my sister recommended because she has played with her boyfriend and his family before. The funniest thing happened, I just got done ordering our fried chicken and I guess like they make their chicken in the morning and they just kind of like keep it warm throughout the day. I did not know that. So I called and I put in an order and then they asked me when I wanted to pick it up and then I asked them when is the earliest they can have it ready and they literally said in three minutes so I was just like you know I'm not gonna be there in three minutes so I told them that I'll be picking it up at noon I just I was kind of thrown off by that because usually most places say like 15 to 20 minutes he literally said three minutes so <laughs> that was so funny now time to call the sushi place because we want some sushi well, we also have the cheese board. You don't consider that as food? Hi, I would like to do um, a takeout order. One order of the mermaid roll. Nope, that should be it. No, no appetizers. Okay, thank you. So I did two shrimp, one avocado, one spicy shrimp, and then the two special rolls. Okay. We got our sushi. We love sushi. Sushi is one of those foods that I can literally eat forever. Paul and Matthew are currently on their break. <gasps> oh, it's okay. Can you just pick it up? Thank you. It's just an accident. They're on break from their gaming session. And sometimes they just kind of wander around with their imagination, which is so cute. So currently gonna go pick up the stuff. And since my other coats are in here, they're like super cold. So this red one is all head laugh. Picking up the sushi and the fried chicken. I haven't had fried chicken in a hot minute and I'm actually craving for it. Oh my gosh, it is so cold in here. Literally snowed like yesterday, which is so wild because, well, I guess it kind of makes sense because it's Wisconsin and it's like mid-October, but still like, I feel like for the past couple years, I haven't seen like actual snow in Wisconsin until like, November like mid to late November. Oh my gosh I just realized that I haven't vlogged in a hot minute that you guys don't know the big news So if you don't follow me on Instagram Then you probably didn't know that I accepted a position in Arkansas How freaking awesome is that like that's so crazy I will be honest when I found the news like I was so excited because it was basically I was offered my supervisor's position which is like amazing like a way to kind of move up the ladder um, in that company but also like even though it was like exciting I was really sad because to be honest I really did not want to leave my family and friends in Wisconsin and I knew the opportunity was amazing especially since like I got done with grad school in March and applying for jobs was just like a whirlwind especially with like COVID happening and everything I just I cannot give up the opportunity but I just I really had to like talk to my mom and my boyfriend about it and they really encouraged me to really go for it one thing that my boyfriend really said to me that really just knocked me hard and really like made me realize that this is like the opportunity to take right now was when he compared the situation to when I had to move two hours away from home 
all by myself. I feel like when I got the job offer, I was comparing that situation with my current one, which is like where I live at home. I'm very comfortable. I don't have a lot of bills to pay and everything. So like everything is like pretty decent, you know? This opportunity will mean moving to a different state with people I have no idea like who I don't, I don't know people there except for like my team. And then also um, having more responsibilities, you know, paying for rent on all that stuff. So my boyfriend and I, we just kind of talked about my past experience, how I had to do that when I went to Madison. And at first, like it sucked, but then as I got into the groove of it, like I started to make friends and I like actually liked the responsibilities because it made me the person I am today. And it was just a good analysis, life analysis that my boyfriend brought up and also like comparing it to my study abroad situation where I literally moved to London by myself with a group of people that I didn't really know even though a good friend of mine came with me like we were more like acquaintances and so I just kind of felt like I was by myself and if I'm able to do that and really get through it then this is literally nothing that was like a long-winded like life update but I wanted to share that with you guys because I want to bring you guys on this journey and you guys are definitely gonna see Arkansas vlogs which is gonna be crazy the official movie in January so there's gonna be a lot of moving vlogs and it's just it's gonna be crazy to try to fit everything that I want to bring with me in my tiny little car and just bring it to Arkansas and just kind of buy whatever I need over there so yeah it's really exciting it's oh my gosh the vlogs are coming you guys the past couple weeks have just been crazy with a new job and I'm slowly getting to the groove of it and now it's time for some fun vlogs for you guys so my crew is making a strawberry shortcake cake how delicious and then here's our chocolate one this one's gonna be filled with ice cream which we currently have in the fridge and then we have Ashley chopping some veggies because we're making the Korean fries which are currently in here and then I am Cooking the meat for the fries. Oh, you want to make the pancake? Oh, does this look like pancake? Look at my Koo's chocolate ice cream cake. Turned out so good. This one, decent. <laughs> Looks like delicious pancake. So we have everything set up. There's Thomas's ice cream cake. We have the shakuri board, green fries, sushi, some fried chicken in here, and then my Koo's strawberry shortcake. Watching my cute Ashley dancing to Blackpink outside. They're dancing to Love Sick Girls. I wonder if they can see me. <laughs> Hello, friends. I just got done celebrating my sister and brother's birthdays. Now I'm in my room because we are planning to hang out at 6. It's currently 3 30 right now, so. I need to get some work done today. I have a brand campaign that needs to go up today. So I'm gonna work on that. I have like everything done, but I just need to like put it together and publish it. Gonna work on that. Maybe relax for a little bit before we start playing games and stuff like that. Today was so fun. I miss vlogging. I don't know why. Well, I, actually I do know why. I know why I don't vlog often. I just, I get so stressed out because I always put so much projects on my plate and with the full-time job now, like it's just, it's just a lot. I just need to learn how to manage my time a lot better. I think I can tell you guys what brand I'm working with. It's called Saber and basically it's like this company that creates safety product like pepper spray the window or door alarms for your houses so like things like that so they sent over a couple of things and um my concept is focused around how to keep yourself safe as a content creator because to be honest i have gone out like downtown and like in the outskirts and stuff to like take photos by myself because my sisters or my boyfriend they're too busy to help me and there were times where i felt really uncomfortable just like the vibe and the environment and everything and just kind of like the alleyway that i may be in when i'm taking photos and i don't know so it was like a really cool campaign to be a part of it's just like a topic that i feel like we don't talk so much about on instagram i feel like we talk a lot about fashion 
your mental health and like stuff like that but we don't really like focus on like your safety and things like that so it was a really cool campaign to be a part of and also want to let you guys know that i only partake in campaigns that truly matters to me and i feel like their brand mission is something that i want to share with you guys i'm gonna work on that and then i will check in with you guys when we are playing games so i'm currently downstairs gonna give my cue <laughs> Her birthday present. Okay, you can come look. Oh, thank what you. Oh my You're God, welcome. A bookshelf. Oh, yes. Yeah. Finally got a bookshelf. I know. I like this one better than the tall one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I okay. thought this one was cuter. Yeah, I was fine with either. <laughs> Stop! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. Ashley took it. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. So I got oh these. Oh, my gosh. Gold hoop earrings and Ashley and my crew have been like sharing them and fighting over them So I decided to just get my crew her own pair That's so, oh, that's amazing. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. You're welcome So I just put on my gold hoop earrings from Express and I got my two other sisters the exact same one Ashley come here show us your matching earrings. So I got one and then my crew and Ashley really liked it she wants to document yeah. all of our ears. <laughs> I told Ashley to tell you to wear it so we can wow. uh, take pictures. Wow, look at us. So pretty. <laughs> yeah. So cool. So Ooh. we are going to play hide and seek. take. We're going to play it and I'm going to try to record it. Are you excited? Yeah. Your favorite game. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. ready, set, go. Lucky's wedding. They're doing it at this really cute barn, which I'm so excited because I saw pictures online and it is like literally the cutest thing ever. We're just wearing something super cute and not too out there. I'm trying to keep it neutral and classy. And then I braided my hair the other day. So that's how I got these curls. Look at two looking all snazzy. Don't worry you guys, masks are mandated. My friend, she's taking all the precautions. Now we're gonna head out. has disposable cameras for us to take photos for them. I love this idea. I actually wanted to do it for my sister's sweet 16 birthday party. So I'm really glad she did this so we can capture some fun memories for her. Also, they're taking photos over there. I see Janie and her lover, and then Miley and her lover. And then there's my lover. Good afternoon, you guys. Currently on my lunch break, and today is Thursday, October 29th. We are celebrating Halloween early because my mom is not gonna be here on Halloween day. We are currently decorating our bedroom doors because of course we are still socially distancing ourselves so this is kind of like our way of celebrating halloween quarantine style you guys are still really foggy i had my camera in my car for like a couple days so that's probably why it's super foggy because it's been super cold lately but i wanted to show you guys each door so far because they are so stinking cute also wearing this mask because I'm quarantining for my family because last weekend I went to a wedding just trying to keep the family safe my hair is so crazy today so I did this kind of like skeleton kind of looking one and I just love the whole like texture of the wrapping paper very simple and then since I'm like quarantined we're gonna put like my goodies here and then my brothers they can just walk up the stairs grab the goodies and then here's Adam's turn on the lights so Adam went with like oh my gosh it is still very 
foggy. Okay, that's better. So Adam went with like a superhero kind of theme. So he has photos on his door. And he has like these signs. So he got a toy for each superhero. So we have a Spider-Man toy and a Batman toy. So when my little brothers, they come trick or treat, they can take those toys. And then Adam will also have some goodies. And I think Adam's dressing up as Spider-Man. And then we have Ashley's. She went all out with her BTS theme. Look at all these photos. So cute to be our BTS stands here. And then she just put in some decor stuff. And she also has a sign, which I think is adorable. And then also there's like this app that turns this card into like videos or whatever. So she's gonna have them do that. And then we have some other stuff. I'm also gonna put up some Christmas lights like around this door. And then maybe like around this door because we don't wanna use like the hallway lights. We want it to be more dim for when they trick or treat. Now we're gonna go check what my cute did. Oh my God. She did tell me that she set up like something downstairs, but look at this. Oh my gosh, it's still foggy. Hopefully I didn't ruin my camera for putting it in the car for too long, but here it is, her little obstacle. We saved the floor's lava, so I'm assuming they have to go this way. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the red line here. And then, what does it say? Watch out for the shark. <laughs> it's right there. It's so cute. I'm assuming they go like this way i don't know and then there's a mystery box Ooh, i wonder what's in there and then it says you made it take off glasses be careful slow down so she's not decorating her door because she did all this so she also did like these spy laser things how fun and then they just have to like go through and knock on the door then my sister will give them the goodie bags we also bought them some glow sticks so they can be the glow stick men's or boys. I'm excited to see them dress up. And how cool is this? This glow up net mask that we got at Walmart. My coo is currently making cupcakes. Or are you putting the mousse filling inside the cupcakes? Uh, are you yeah, when they're done, I'm gonna okay. the Yum. Ones. just gave me one of his cupcakes that he decorated it was kind of like this red frosty kind of look like spider webs and he put some chocolate chips on it it is literally so good it's like not too sweet it's like the perfect amount of sweetness how many do you think um, yeah. there's a lot <laughs> yeah you can guess any number okay one two three seventeen eighteen just do a random guess. What? Um, 13. 13? I'm only getting counted 13. <laughs> do you want to consult with someone? I, I feel like they're. Do you want to consult mommy's help? Yeah. Paul thinks it's 13. I feel like it might be a little higher. Seven. I think it was the hour. I think it would be the 25. Okay, Paulie, go. The 100. The 100? Good job. 113. Ending the Halloween night with this dessert that my Ku made. It's a chocolate cupcake. And I think the filling is chocolate mousse. And then there's a little worm. You guys, I just got the exciting news that we won. Oh my god. I have been waiting. I think we've all been waiting for like the results since Tuesday. Like my sister and I, we cannot stop screaming and celebrating. Like, this is the first time that I have, like, I've ever voted where, like, it just, it feels like we won as a country, you know? Like, it wasn't just, like, the candidate that won, like, presidency. It's like, we won for the better of our country. This is so crazy. Oh my gosh, like... It was so funny. I was like literally sitting on the floor eating brunch and watching Dawson's Creek because for some reason I just didn't think the results would be like up today. You know, I thought it would take like a couple more days, but they came up 
my sister like messaged my other sister and I and we like quickly went on Google and Joe Biden won you guys literally the best news ever for 2020 we're making history here our votes really counted this time but I feel like our votes counted like every single time but this time I felt like it just counted even more oh my god I'm like literally out of breath because I just been jumping all morning afternoon like literally ran out the door I was like dancing by where the lighted areas because that's where our living room is i was like dancing right there and my sister's dancing downstairs and she also like ran all the way downstairs she's still celebrating let's see if we can hear her what happened they were just like you know we're gonna wait and just kind of see where it turns out because we don't want to get mobbed by trump supporters you know we won we won we won do 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 we won my Halloween door is still there. You guys, today we're gonna spend the whole day celebrating. Woo! Look at Ashley. Are you still looking at results? Oh no, I'm looking at Instagram. I think I'm gonna change just like my underclothes because I literally just threw on a sweater. So change that. And I've been doing laundry all day. And oh my gosh, I'm just too excited to do anything. So I'm just gonna hang out with my siblings for the rest of the day. Also, today is my last day. Of quarantining so today's just like a good day overall you guys like Biden and uh, Kamala they won presidency I'm done with quarantining I'm so happy and I thought I just vlog today because we're gonna be celebrating all day oh that's where you got it yeah county market what kind of truck is it mm, the truck is broken oh is it yeah I posted like you know, like this uh-huh okay let's play I think he's at his home. You think he's at his home? Yeah. Well, I think I need my cat. Family over. Yeah, I think he's at home with his family too. Yeah. He loves his family. Yeah, he really he super loves his family. Yeah, he does. See, you guys, Paul, Paul didn't need to see anything to know that Joe Biden loves his family. <laughs> Yeah, because Paul's like, where is Joe Biden? And I'm like, I don't know. He's like, he's probably at home with his family. That's true. Celebrating with them. Yeah, I saw him uh, crying. Uh, uh, my hair. It's just a mess today. Oh my God, look at my hair, Polly. My hair is so tall. Why is it messed up? <laughs> Why is it messed up? I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not having... <laughs> And take your ponytail off then. Yeah, let's take it off, huh? Yeah, it's also so it doesn't be ruined. <laughs> Should I just go bald? No. Make sure to wipe all your sweat. Why? So that they're all gone. So we're currently in the other room because we're gonna put this guy up and we're gonna start putting up Christmas decorations. Today just felt like the day. We're gonna put up um, a Christmas tree right here and then the reindeers next to them. And I have a little helper today. Oi, hurry up! Well, hey, you have to be careful with the scissors, okay? So we have built all of the reindeer. These two are lit up. This one will light up in a little bit. And then the kiddos are helping me set up the Christmas tree. We've decided to go with the white one because we cannot find the green one. I feel like the green one would have looked a lot nicer. In celebration of Biden winning, we're making some dumplings and some topoki. Look at that sauce, how yummy. Good morning, happy Thanksgiving everyone. I literally just got off of a two hour FaceTime call with my aunties and cousins and it was literally the best way to start my day. I love them so much. I just got done getting ready so I'll show you my outfit in a little bit just to let you know it's nothing special um, but I just wanted to show you my cozy outfit for today especially since I'll be eating a lot of food today. So today's just gonna be a very chill day. We have games planned. My family were also doing like presentations which I'm so excited for to see which family member presents on which topic it's gonna be such a fun day i'm so excited and i cannot wait to vlog the entire day for you guys because it's gonna be a thanksgiving to be remembered by also look at tata he is so stinking cute i slept with him last night and he was just 
the softest pillow ever. Look at the coolest Monopoly set I got the other day. This is how big it is. This is my hand and that's how big the board is. It is so crazy. It is actually made out of wood and it has like this velvet part right here. It's super fancy. It's the luxury edition. And then one side is a drawer. The other side has the other drawer. It is literally the best thing ever like i love monopoly so it was definitely something that i wanted to invest in and i found it at tj maxx for like 99 dollars. the original price is like 230 and then i also got the scrabble version which is super cute they're actually like matching sets which i love and i believe i got this for 99 as well and the original price is like 200 i have to show you guys these super cute shiny mommy gift boxes that i got at tj maxx i mean look at that stack it's so cute and it has like a bow on top i'm like literally obsessed so my mom is going to teach me how to make yeah. purple sticky rice because next year i'll be in arkansas so I will have the luxury to eat her purple sticky rice. Okay, so I, there's a specific rice that you have to get. These okay. are purple rice, or black rice. Okay. Okay. So what I usually do is I would, if you made four cups of those rice, then mm -hmm. you would use a half cup of this. Oh, okay. You would boil it in hot water mm -hmm. for like maybe two to five minutes. Okay. And then you would get your rice that you normally do. So I just washed the rice already, which is eight cups. Okay. So I already boiled the, um, the other thing, the, the purple rice. Oh, so you boil it separately? Uh-huh, I boil it separately because um, I needed the color to turn them. And so how long do you boil for? Two to five minutes. Okay. okay. And then I just put it in here. You see how it's all purple? Yeah. So you put one cup of purple rice in there? Mm hmm And then how many waters? Um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Okay. Yeah, because you you're gonna put in more water anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So one purple cup for four white cups. Half cup for half cups. That's that makes how sense. I do it because I like it darker. Yeah. Okay. So if you like it lighter purple, then you don't have to do it that way. You can make it. You can put less purple rice. So and then I just did from here. I just let it sit, and I made sure that it's eight cups of water. And then see the broth, it's, it's kind of purple right now, mm -hmm. but I don't cook it right away. Because oh, okay. I want it to be really purple, so I'm going to let it sit for like 5 to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I just cook it. Oh, that's it. okay. Yep. Awesome, that's easy. Yeah, it's easy. So. Yay! Yeah. Just learned how to make purple rice. <laughs> The turkey is done. Look at all the noodles. That looks so good. Ashley is currently cutting the lemon. And then I'm gonna start cutting the sausages. And then we got the pre, what is this called? Seafood bundle bag thing. It has all the seafood in there. And then we need to cut some potatoes, have the butter, the onions. So these potatoes are all kind of like shriveled up in a way and Ashley says she cannot touch them. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, they're so scary. What? <laughs> Matthew, do you think these are scary? Can I see? The potatoes. Do you think they're scary? Hot potato? Just the potatoes. Touch it. Touch it. it feels so cool. Yeah, touch it. Ashley says they're scary. Do you think so? Oh my gosh, they're so bad. <laughs> Our uh, burgers are touching them. They look very abominable. It's just a potato. Did you know that's what fries are made out of? Okay, I will assign and, you something and, else. And you can open the corn cans. Oh, you want yeah. Ew, don't Ew. say that. Ew. That it looks disgusting. Do you know how to use the can opener? Yeah. I showed you once. So, okay, we get back to cutting the meat. You don't know how to use that? I thought I did, but I did. Okay, try it again. <laughs> you guys, this is Ashley using Wait, okay, the can opener. Out, so. Gen Z, right here. I know how to use it because I did at work. <laughs> That's not how you do it. Here, let me show you. The one at work, it was the old style where it was a stick and you lift it up okay. and then you twist it. Okay, so you take it this side. Remember you do oh. that? And then you spin it. 
Remember? Oh, so oh. hold on to this and then spin this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, no! Yes, yes, yes. A thousand of bacon and um, four eggs and... I worked in the food. Oh my gosh, how yummy. Thank you. You can give it to me later, okay? <gasps> wow, those food look so yummy. Do you want to eat it? Yeah, I, I can eat it after I'm done cooking. I just dumped the rest of the seafood items into the pots. I'm so excited. Still need to add some more seasoning. And then we have the Korean barbecue meat cooking over here. Yum. I'm thankful for being healthy. I'm thankful for everybody here. I'm thankful for being healthy. I'm thankful for this family and this family. I'm thankful for being here. I am thankful for the health and safety of family. I am thankful for having a family that we love each other. I'm thankful for my family. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta act. Okay, no. I'm, I'm thankful, thankful for, for my family. My family. <laughs> That's good. And like, this is so random, but I'm also thankful for what we went through. Because it kind of like, it really brought us together. You know what my favorite moment was? Was this summer? When it comes outside. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like almost every fun. day. That was a good time. Good time. To eat with the mosquitoes. <laughs> Thomas really kickstarted that. Yeah. We are starting our family presentation. Mom, Paul, and Matthew are gonna go first. And then it's gonna be Ashley, and then me, and then my Tao, and then my Q. An activity page for her presentation. I'm so excited! You guys, we should do this every holiday. are currently playing Jeopardy. I have the whole game set up. <laughs> Wait, what happened? And now I'm gonna read the question to my queue. House check for 400. How old is the house? Oh, yeah. We have made it to final Jeopardy and I've decided to do like this comparison photo to find the difference. Everybody is slowly writing their answers and there are nine differences. So let's see if they can find it. <laughs> 